Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This is the week ending 918 of 22. The stock was MS, I believe that's Morgan Stanley. Happened on Monday the 12th. Strategy was based on a daily major resistance area entry on a five minute retest and failure pattern. The management advance and reward to risk 1.8 to 1. It was not a huge trade, but as I went through this, this is just one of my favorite types of trades. And I believe I may even send this out later in the week as an additional educational video with some additional comments on it because there's so many things on here. I made a little list as I was going through. Just very simple stuff. But as you look at this, you may just think, oh, what a boring trade. But that's exactly what it is. It's a boring trade. Retest and failure pattern was an entry. It's a great concept. It's not easily understood though because it's more than just simply coming back to retest an area. The setup has to be there. This particular trade at perfect management. This also utilizes the concept of just looking at a typical average boring move. This also emphasizes the comment that great traders could have been long this stock before I went short or could short it when I did either way. I'll talk about the difference maybe in that educational piece coming out later this week. Be boring. This also reflected the 10 o'clock and 10.30 reversal times beautifully. And also we'll get into the concept about patience versus being anxious when you're trading. So those are all concepts that are in here. I may just touch on a couple of them now and I'll expand on them more later this week in a separate educational piece, I believe. So here we go. This week coming up on Wednesday, there's going to be a training session. All the educational events at DTS, I would consider to be training sessions because all the seminar students are required to know all those, even though they are presented to the general DTS free membership. But this one specifically is going to be something very much geared toward active traders. It's actually part of the DTS seminar program, but I'm going to review these concepts with everybody. If you are not currently trading, you probably don't care about the value of a trading plan. But for those of you that are trading, it's something you should attend and watch. I'm not going to do a plan for you. I'm going to tell you the important contents that go into it. I'm also going to tell you why the plan is so incredibly valuable to any trader. So that'll be Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Here's a daily chart for MS, and the key here is we have this four-day rally, and we're going to come land on that little resistance area there. Not a big deal, but as an intraday trade, if you find the right entry, it's just great. We're going to be shorting that topping tail right up in there and capture that move down to the bottom of the tail. 60-minute chart, you can see it a little bit better, and you can see why I made that comment. This actually could have been a long out of the open. That could have been okay. And when it ran into that area, you see that on the daily chart with that blue line there, it also was a short. Could have been either way. I'll explain maybe in that follow-up piece about the difference between going long or going short. Both would have made money. Here's the five-minute chart, and there's the entry down there. Stock runs up, 10 o'clock high, and then a 10.30 retest and failure pattern. Entry under 90.88, stop over 91.30. Trade's underway. Perfect management here. I mean, if you recognize that chart, that was the target for the moment of entry because it's the first minor support area. You can see the bounce the stock got, got target one right off that low. You never know if that's going to be the low, so you're nice and safe taking some of the money right there. And then held, managed it, got it to actually the low of the day, just bouncing off the low. So good management on this one all across the board. On the one-minute chart, you don't see any targets, but you can see a little better view of the entry. There is the opening price. That first rally right in here is that 10 o'clock high that you see. And then we have this little retest and failure pattern right at 10.30 with a beautiful little entry there. Entry, stop, target one and target two are off the chart because that's a one-minute chart ending around 11 o'clock. For those of you that think you would enjoy nice, simple, boring trades like this to make money, come join us in the DTS trading room. You can go over to the DTS homepage, do some trading strategies, and figure out how you can join us. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.